So my medical training started as a medical student at Guy's and St Thomas's Hospital. And I had the privilege of working with a very passionate eye surgeon, Mr Fitch, um, who I think first gave rise to my interest in ophthalmology. When I saw my first cataract operation and saw the impact it had on the patient afterwards, I was convinced that this was the path I was going to follow. My first actual cataract surgery I performed was as a senior house officer. Now before we were allowed to touch human eyes, it was practicing on tomatoes and then pig's eyes. And then when we were considered competent enough to handle those safely, our surgeons would allow us to operate on a patient with full consent. And from doing initial steps, it evolves to doing a full operation. This period takes a few years and my training extended to King's College Hospital where I also undertook an extra research degree for an MD thesis into, uh, which researched macular degeneration treatments and imaging techniques. During this time I maintained my cataract surgery skills. When I became a registrar and then a senior fellow at Moorfields Eye Hospital my cataract surgery training continued and I was also involved in teaching more junior staff how to perform cataract surgery. This course of training itself lasted nine years. As a consultant surgeon I am privileged to be able to continue the opportunity to train junior doctors and I have performed over a thousand cataract operations in my time.